Hi everyone, it's me, Wei Chiang here. My apologies to, for keeping uh, everyone waiting for my videos. Uh, I've been really busy, but nonetheless, here I have. Um, this particular question is pretty common. Um, in this case, it's uh, in the case of money and spending, equal amount of spending. Sometimes this same concept can be phrased in the, you know, in a way like um, a suitcase with five uh, tins of oranges weigh this much. The same suitcase with ten tins of orange weigh this much. Find find the weight of the suitcase. Something along those lines. It's actually the same concept. So I shall explain how to do this. Right. Uh, so you had this amount four five nine dollars. You had one five six zero. Now they both spend an equal amount of money, then Suli had one quarter as much as Yuli. Then how much did Yuli spend? Well, pretty straightforward. Um, first of all, we will want to draw the model for this part here. Okay, They both spend an equal money, amount of money. So to cut things short, X and Y, X for Suli, Y for Yuli. They both spent an equal amount of money, so I can just draw a box. But of course, these two boxes need to be of the same size to represent the spending, the money that is spent, all right, being the same. Now, after this amount is spent, this is the amount of money spent. Okay, spent. After this was spent, Suli had one quarter as much as Yuli. This would mean that Suli would have one unit, while Yuli would have four. So Suli has one. Yuli would have four. One. Two, three, four. So again, this is the amount spent. This is the amount left. So over here, we can see that this is the amount of money that Suli had at first, and it's actually 459. And then this amount of money that Yuli has is actually 1560. And from here, it's very clear. Most students would be able to see that this is actually hiding here. Which means this 459 will be the same as the value here, 459. Which means I am therefore able to find this. Right? So here we have three units. So at from this point in time, three units would be I have just to take 1560, take away this amount, which is actually 459. So 1560 minus 459, um, the value is uh, 1101. So one unit would therefore be one one zero one divided by three, which will give me three hundred and sixty seven. Which means this one unit here is three hundred and sixty seven dollars. Okay. So how much did Yuli spend? Yuli had four units here, so four units will be three hundred and sixty seven multiplied four, and that is uh, one thousand four hundred and sixty eight. So if this is 1468, the total is 1560, it's just simply 1560 subtract 1468, you will get 92. So Yuli actually spent $92. There you have it, how to solve this question using the math model method. And uh, just a little reminder, the sharing session is on 17th February. Click on this link that you see on your screen right now uh, to register. Tickets are limited, so... Uh, yes, we are charging a fee, but it's really very much a token fee because uh, just to make sure that you know, everybody makes their commitment to come and don't give a no-show and deprive others who are ready to come and willing to come who of a proper seat, of a seat at the sharing session. So, look forward to seeing you guys soon. It's the Chinese New Year. Have a great Chinese New Year weekend. Gong Si Fa Chai. And uh, Happy New Year. See you soon. Bye-bye.